Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new because I know that we're all sitting at home right now. Today is the first video that I am filming in like this whole quarantine situation. So I hope that you and your family are being safe. Hope that you guys are staying positive through the pandemic and yeah, just, you know, keep positive thoughts. Enjoy the quality time that you get to spend with your loved ones. And we'll get through this together, you guys. I promise. But anyways, if you are new to my channel, I create content here on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I do a lot of hauls, vlogs, styling videos, makeup reviews, stuff like that. I just wanted to get that intro out there. I know that there's a lot of people sitting at home right now, probably searching for a lot of new content. So I just want to give you a little background as to what my channel is about. I am going to be trying to produce a few extra videos during this whole quarantine period for those of you who are sitting at home all day just so that there's a little bit of extra entertainment so if you like my videos you like my personality I'd really love it if you would subscribe to my channel also make sure to follow me on Instagram my handle is probably somewhere on the screen and also linked down below not a lot of stories of me out and about in the world since we are in a bit of a self quarantine here in our household so if you are just curious as to what I'm doing you know sitting at home feel free to follow me. <laughs> um, but anyways, today's video is one that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. This is going to be my Amazon favorites video. I'm going to be going over quite a few fashion, beauty, and lifestyle favorites that I've accumulated from Amazon over the years that I really love and wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys love Amazon, which I'm sure that we all do because we need to get everything delivered right now, keep on watching. Okay, so Amazon. I mean, who doesn't use Amazon? Please, like, comment down below if you don't use Amazon because I have questions for you on, like, your strength to not be constantly ordering from there because I personally order so much from Amazon. But, you know, Amazon is just, like, one of those things. It's there. It's convenient. And they honestly have everything. So ever since we got our Prime membership, probably about five or six years ago at this point, I have just been like an Amazon fiend. So since my channel does focus on fashion, beauty, and a little bit of lifestyle, I did want to share some of my favorites in those categories for you guys in case, you know, you're maybe looking to reorganize some of your jewelry. I have some stuff for that. If you're sitting at home and you're looking for things to be cozy with or stay hydrated with, definitely got you there. Or, you know, if you just want to shop for clothes because, you know, maybe you just feel like it and you just like want to hit the ground running when the quarantine is over with a brand new spanking wardrobe. I do have a few fashion pieces here that I did want to share with you guys. And everything that I'm mentioning will be linked down below if Amazon is out of it. I will try my best to link the most similar item and then I will also do my best to provide pricing down below as well. So starting first off here with kind of like lifestyle-ish, I did want to mention this favorite. This is my Hydra Flask. I got it from Amazon. I was actually gifted it but I know that they got it from me from Amazon. This one is the standard 24 ounce bottle. It's just your classic Hydro Flask. If you have never heard of Hydro Flask, I'm sure most of us have, but just like if anybody is just like out of the loop on it really quickly, basically it's a really great bottle that'll keep your liquids hot or cold for I think it's up to 12 hours or something, depending on, you know, if you want to put hot coffee in here or hot milk if you're a mom. I know that my cousin who's a mom used Hydro Flasks a lot just because it would keep milk hot and she could take it with her to go for her son. Or you can put ice cold water in here and it'll stay nice and cold for up to 12 hours. So I have this one. This is the smaller one. I mean, this is just great to take on the go. I like this particular one with this top because it does have a handle. It makes it easy to just like carry it around the gym. And this one is a screw off top. I don't mind that. I actually like that. I like the wider mouths, but they do have like the different sports tops that have the nozzle or the straw on it. So you can definitely get those as well from Amazon. Okay, so next up, we're gonna move into like home organization, lifestyle slash kind of fashion stuff. The first item was gifted to me. Actually, a lot of these items were gifted to me. I wasn't buying that much personally from Amazon this year. So I asked for a lot of Amazon stuff for Christmas, but I am obsessed with this. This is like a little kind of like reclaimed wood style necklace holder. I needed to find a system to organize my necklaces. I have like a little mini mannequin and they were all kind of like sitting on her, but they kept getting tangled and everything. And for like the necklaces that I wear a lot or the necklaces that I just want to make sure I'm keeping in good condition, I wanted something that wasn't going to tangle them and have them on display really 
really nicely. So I looked at a couple of necklace trees, but for some reason I just wasn't into them. And then I saw this one and I was just like obsessed. I love this one. I love the way it just like displays the necklaces flat, makes it really easy for me to pick and choose in the morning. And for some reason I am more motivated to put them back because I honestly don't like it when it has empty spaces. I still need to unpack a different Amazon favorite. You guys will see in a little bit. So that's where these two are. But yeah, if I see an empty space, I know that I didn't put a necklace away. So it just motivates me to go get it and put it away. So it's been keeping me a lot more organized and I'm losing less necklaces, which is definitely a good thing. And I just like love the look and feel of this. I like that it's a little bit rustic. I like the dark wood with the like brassy gold knobs. I think that it's just like a really cute, like rustic chic kind of piece. And I love having this sit on my dresser. I think that's just like such a pretty piece. Okay, next up, staying on the jewelry organizer train. This is another gift. This actually came from the same person who gave me the necklace holder, which was my mother-in-law. So thank you for these. But she got me this set of jewelry organizer trays. I had been obsessing over these. I really wanted to display my jewelry. I had it all sitting in a box before and I was never accessorizing. I couldn't remember like what jewelry I had and stuff. So I wanted something that could nicely display all of my jewelry and I saw this on Amazon. I put it on my wish list and I'm so glad that she got it for me. I'm still kind of tinkering around with how I like it. Truthfully, all of these come out and I could have this whole tray flat, but we don't have a ton of room on our dresser because our TV sits on there. So I have to make it a little bit more compact, but right now I'm liking this arrangement. So it comes with these boxes where you can definitely put in hoops or small to medium earrings. I also like to throw my rings in there a lot. Then I just leave the middle open for bigger, chunky, pieces that don't really fit somewhere like my pearl necklace. I just personally think that this necklace is too bulky for my necklace holder. These like chunky earrings, my watch, and then on this side it has the ring holder which I love. I love seeing all my rings displayed on here. I like that it feels very boutique like and then I actually also like to put my smaller studs there as well just because then this way the small studs don't get like mixed up and lost in all of this chaos. And then the other piece to this because it is a four piece set is this like choke or bracelet holder. So it comes with these little hooks at the top. You can lift them up and hook your chokers or bracelets in here. Um, I just like have a few pieces that are a little bit shorter just because I've actually filled up the other necklace holder. I actually may want to get another one of those, but I haven't fully decided. But this one I just keep off to the side on its own. This is like the one piece that I don't put in the big tray. This one, like I said, is definitely great for anything that's a little bit shorter that also doesn't have like any type of pendant on it. But I love this set. This is probably like one of my favorite things ever because it's just like changed the way that I organize my jewelry and I will do like a my jewelry collection video probably in the next few months there's quite a few pieces that I still want to get before I do that so I'm not going to dig into that yet this has just made it so much easier for me to see my jewelry and because of that I am actually accessorizing myself daily which is nice because now I feel like I'm actually using my jewelry pieces a lot more than I was before okay so continuing on with jewelry organization I also wanted to show you this favorite of mine I've talked about it before so I'm not going to go too too in depth into it but this is a travel jewelry organizer. This was gifted to me by my friend Anna. Thank you so much Anna for getting this for me. This and the jewelry tray are my Ashley. You know all of the jewelry organizers are my favorite items in this video because they are just like the best things ever. So I like the fact that this is black and gold. I love black and gold or white and gold stuff but what I love about this one is that it is so flat and it's very malleable. It's very easy to pack in. You can literally make it fit anywhere in your suitcase and then when you open it up it's organized really well. I still do have jewelry in here because I was just shooting with Michelle. It has a little necklace section to keep your necklaces from getting tangled. I love the hooks. It makes it really easy to organize that. It has this little pouch in the center. For me personally, I like to keep like hoops or chunkier jewelry in here. It also has this little earring holder for like studs or small hoops. This ring holder I thought is really, really cool. It just like pops right off and you can store your rings in there. And then it has a pocket back here. I like to do things like bracelets and stuff in that section. So really love this travel jewelry organizer. It's come in clutch so much for me because I do shoot Instagram photos on the weekend. So this makes it a lot easy to transport my jewelry without losing a bunch of pieces because I was getting to the point where I literally couldn't find two earrings that were matching for the longest time. So this has saved me so much. 
Okay, next up are a couple of designer dupes. They're the exact same pattern, but they are from two different vendors. So the first one that I wanted to show you guys is this little bag. This is like reminiscent of the Louis Vuitton blue and cream Damier pattern. It's like the blue and cream checker pattern, obviously, but I love this little clutch. I am obsessed with the gold chain. I love gold. Gold is like one of my favorite things ever. And this print from Louis is my favorite Louis print. I don't own anything Louis, so this is probably as close as I'm gonna get for a little while. And then it's just like your classic clutch. It doesn't look like at first there's a ton of room in here, but actually I can fit quite a bit in here. I can fit my wallet, I can fit my phone, I can fit my keys. And then what's nice too is if you don't wanna bring a wallet, it does have like the card holders in the back right there. And then there's a little extra pocket in here if you just like wanna throw in a chapstick or maybe a couple of hair ties and stuff like that. But this one is from the brand Daisy Rose. And I've had this for, I think about, a little under a year, but it's still in really good condition. The color hasn't changed on it or anything. So I think if you're looking for like a really quick dupe and just want it for like the look of it, this is definitely a great one. And then I have another one that's a dupe for this pattern, but it's from a different company. So you guys can see the coloring is slightly different on these, but this is a passport holder. This one is from the brand Rita Messi. So that's why it's a little bit of a different feel on it. But I just got into passport holders. I loved having this one we travel to Australia and hopefully for when we travel to Europe if that is still going on fingers crossed knock on wood all of that but I've showed this a bunch of times before again I'm not gonna go too deep into it but it's your basic passport holder but I love this just because it makes it so easy to travel it's really easy to just carry in your pocket or in your purse and find and you just like pull it out your passport's ready to go and I literally cannot travel without this anymore this is such an essential Okay, I'm just gonna keep going on the travel stuff because a lot of the travel stuff I've like loved for just at home use as well. Um, in particular, this little guy. So this is actually a travel blanket that is the softest freaking thing ever. So as you guys can see, it does come in this little pouch, but this pouch is actually part of the blanket. One thing that I love about this is that it has this little strap here so you can open it and wrap it around whatever you need to. I was doing that a lot when we traveled to wrap it around like my purse handle and stuff. And then when you open it up, up. It does unzip right here like that this material you guys it's like that super super soft super warm material I ugh, I love it and the big thing with this being a travel blanket is that it's actually a poncho so I have been since I've been like working at home and chilling at home been using this because it's just like really easy to just you know throw it over my shoulders if I get thirsty and I want to get up and get a snack I can just like take it with me and walk on over to the kitchen without getting cold at all. And then a cool thing too for when you're traveling with this though, is that it does have this little pouch. So when I was on the airplane and I'd go to sleep, I would actually like throw my cell phone in this little pouch and just like zip it up. And the zipper is designed to go both ways. So you can zip it inside or outside. Um, so I would just like zip it up, put it in here. That way I made sure that everything was safe and secure and right by me. So that's a really, really convenient feature of this blanket. And I just like, I love it. I highly recommend. Not that anyone's traveling anytime soon, but if you have travel plans maybe coming up after the quarantines and stuff are over, I highly recommend taking a look at this blanket because it's the best, especially when you're on a really long flight. Okay, the next favorite is another one that I talked about before, but this is an Amazon favorites video, so we're gonna mention anything that's a favorite. This is a set of three clear cosmetic travel bags. I actually got this idea from Julia Havens. I saw her packing her tech stuff in a clear toiletry bag and I love that idea. So the big one is what I use for that and it makes it really, really convenient to make sure that I have all of the cords that I need for all of my electronics. I can see really quick and make sure that I have all of the tripods that I wanna bring, all of the extra chargers I wanna bring, just basically anything that I need. It makes it really easy to scan quick and make sure it's all in there. And then I love the other two. This one I've been using as just like extra storage for makeup. I do have a different makeup case that I try with that I will also mention in this video in just a second and then I love this little one to throw in my purse for when I do things like when I go to Disneyland I showed this in my what's in my bag for Disneyland video this just makes it really convenient to keep like small things together things like tissue wipes lip balm and stuff just in a convenient pack so that it's not falling all over the place in your backpack or your bag and you can easily see everything that's in here so love this set this has come in so handy and like I said even if you're not traveling this is definitely one that I would just recommend to have on hand because there's so many ways that you can use this. 
Okay, then like I said, I do like to travel with a different makeup case. That other one is just for overflow, but this is my main makeup case. I am obsessed with this. I will tell you right off the bat that this does ship from China, so it usually takes like a little while. If I can find a US-based one, I will, just so that the shipping will be a lot quicker. But honestly, you guys, it's fine. The quality on it's fine. It arrived in great condition, and it's lasted me. I've had this for, I think, a year and a half, and it's lasted me this whole time. I have not seen one stitch come off on this. It's been great. But I was initially drawn to this because I loved the marble on it. I am a sucker for marble. I love marble so much. So I really, really wanted a makeup case. This is technically a train case that had the marble print on it. So this one was perfect. My only thing was I didn't realize at the time that was going to come with that on the front. But honestly, after a little while, I don't even notice it anymore. The other thing that I love too on this one is that it had the gold zipper, marble and gold. Love it. On the inside, here is what it looks like. Sorry, it's a little bit dingy, but on the top here, it has a section where you can store makeup brushes. I have to store my makeup brushes separately because I have so many of them. So I usually use this for like smaller things. Like I have a little lipstick in here, another lipstick, and then this is a perfume. Um, so I store those in there and keep them nice and secure. And pro tip in this section, I also like to store things like my eyeliner or lip liners and stuff. Things that are like thin and tall and usually like harder to find and stuff makes it a lot easier to be able to see them right here. And then there's also a little pocket in the back here. This is where I like to store anything that's kind of like oddly shaped like my eyelash curler or anything like that. Then down here is like the main section. So this is all sectioned off but all of these are removable so you can kind of like create whatever pattern you want to that works best for your makeup. And I just like this because like I said it just keeps everything really really organized and it keeps everything really secure. I have not had one thing burst or break in here since I've started using this to transport my makeup in. So if you are someone who who needs to transport your makeup frequently, I highly recommend this because it's just so easy to pack and customize and just makes everything a lot more organized. Okay, last up, I have two fashion items that I just wanted to share with you guys really quick. The first one is this dress and you guys, I'll see if I can like link it down below somewhere. When I went to go get this dress, I saw it on Amazon, I can't remember who it was that I had seen it on, but I looked down in the reviews for this dress and there was the most hilarious review. It was like some guy who reviewed it, he said he bought it for his wife and when she put it on, he couldn't keep her hands off her and now they're pregnant, so. It was just too funny and I was like sold. But this dress is actually really, really pretty. I love this for springtime, so this is definitely the perfect time to show this because we are coming up on spring. This comes in a variety of colors. The original one that I saw was like a mauve rose, but I really liked the yellow, as you can tell. I do like yellow. I'm definitely not afraid of color. So I thought that this yellow was like nice and fun and flirty. I love the billowy top here and then the fact that it can like cinch in your waist. It does have adjustable straps as well. And then the length on this it's right in between ankle length and midi length which is great if you are a shorter girl like me it's not gonna be too long it's not a full maxi dress that's gonna like drag on the floor for you and then it does have slits on the side just to make it really easy to walk in but like I said this dress is absolutely great I love it for the spring and summertime it's nice and flowy and airy and what's great about this is that it's a quick one to throw on for brunch or lunch and I can also wear this to the office I just throw on a jean jacket or if you're in a little bit more of a formal office you can definitely do a blazer over it and you can easily wear this into work as well. Okay, and then this last one is a bodysuit and this is probably one of my best selling Amazon fashion items that I've ever posted. Um, I have posted this on my Instagram before, but this is just like your basic off the shoulder black bodysuit. I mean, I'm not sure how much like I can really say about it. It's basic, but like in such a good way. I feel like everybody needs at least like one of these types of bodysuits in their closet because there's been so many times where I have just grabbed this when I was trying to get ready because I always know that it's going to look good on me and the off the shoulder style just gives it a little extra like elegance. There's something about off the shoulder stuff to me that's just like very elegant. It's like a sexy elegance. Like you're not showing your midriff, you're not showing your boobs, you're just showing like a little shoulder, very classy. But yeah, I love this as like a go-to top with like any skirt or with a pair of jeans when I'm going out. It's a really easy, cute outfit to wear. And the material on this is really, really soft. It doesn't pull, it fits really well. I think mine, oof, 
I have no idea what size this is. It's been a long time. I've had this probably for about three or four years and it still looks fine. But yeah, mine is a size small, so it does fit true to size, but these also do come in a variety of colors. So if you don't want black, you can definitely get another color. But like I said, I just think that's a really good basic staple to have in your closet. Oh my god, then I almost forgot one other favorite that I want to share with you guys that I know you guys would love. As you guys probably know, I have a lot of makeup, and in particular, I have a lot of makeup palettes. So I needed a way to organize them, and a few years ago, I got this little guy. Not all the palettes, but I... Honestly, you guys, I'm too lazy to take the palettes out, even though this is making it heavier, but it's this acrylic palette holder right in between all of the palettes, but I love this thing. I keep this out on my vanity and it keeps all of my palettes on display. I love the fact that it's clear so I can actually see every single palette that I have in here. The spaces in between are actually pretty wide. Depending on the palette, I've actually been able to slip two palettes in each space. But if you need more space, you can actually like remove Whoop, there we go. You can actually remove the different dividers. So you can kind of customize it that way if you have like an extra thick palette that you wanted to store in here. It's really great just having this out on my vanity where I can see it. So if I'm doing my makeup and I'm not sure what palette I want to use, or if you know, maybe I'd forgotten about a palette in here, I have it right there. I can see it and it kind of like reminds me to use it or try to like experiment with it and stuff and create a look with palettes that I might've forgotten. But anyways, that was it for all of my Amazon favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know some of your Amazon favorites. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.